Hello, this is Steve LB from Gamut Software, and today I'm going to be discussing some of the features available in Gamut Log Viewer that are available from the View menu. So you can see here I have Gamut Log Viewer open to a log file already, and in this file I have already selected a configuration. Using configurations, which is available here, is a very useful feature that I've also described in another video. Uh, available on YouTube. Please check that out if you've not done so already. That's where you want to start when first using Gamut Log Viewer. So assuming you have a configuration and your columns are all defined as mine are here, we're going to go through some of the features that are available from the View menu. So top three items just allow you to turn on and off the toolbar which just went away there or turn it back on. I always leave it on. The status bar, which is at the bottom of, of the application, which was just down here, which has useful information as far as how many lines are in the file, where you are in the file, if you have any filters selected, how many lines are visible through with the filter. And grid tooltips. This is a useful feature but sometimes it can get in the way depending on what you're doing. So if I hover here over over a line, if I have my grid tooltips enabled, you'll see that I see the the details of the line, which can be very nice that way you don't have to scroll your your uh, application back and forth. But if you're just trying to hover and read the text sometimes that can get in the way. So if you find that to be bothersome you can just turn that off and then when you hover over the line the tooltips are hidden. I'm gonna leave it on because I think it's a pretty useful feature. Sync views is a nice feature. I'm gonna open the same log file in a different tab. Now imagine you had multiple log files that were from the same application uh, or maybe different applications that you're trying to synchronize and figure out what uh, pr what uh, problems one is causing with another and so you're working with these multiple log files and you've decided that this particular area here is of importance to you uh, I want to get us to an error here so here are some errors so we decide that this error is of particular importance so I select this file now it's set for 3-9-2013 with a timestamp of 5.16.03, 5.64. I'm actually going to turn tooltips off. So here we are, and we know that this other log file may have had some some interaction with this, the one we're on. So if, notice at the at this point I'm on line seven of that file. But if I do view, sync views, you notice this tab that I was on scroll to the top. Uh, what what ha what's happening there is we look at the first line for the time that we were on and we scroll that into view and push that to the top of the screen which may or may not have been the line you were on if you were on one of these other lines with the same timestamp we would go to the first line that had that time and then this other file has been brought to that first entry with that same timestamp so that's a pretty useful feature if you're working with multiple logs that you're trying to synchronize and figure out what how they might be impacting one another. The next feature available on the view menu are the application preferences. This feature allows us to configure Gamut to be uh, to work the way you like. So one of the things we can do here is we can change the odd and even line number colors. So if I pick green for my even color if I save that, you'll see that every other line is uh, green and then the odd lines are, are gray, which was also in that configuration. I'm going to change this back to uh, just to white for now. The ability to display line numbers over here, the line numbers in this column, if you turn this off, the line numbers will be hidden. The tooltips on pop-up was also available directly from the view menu. Display full path and title bar. If we click that, you'll see as you hover over each of the tabs, we give you the entire information about the log file, including its location, its size, the date of the first 
row in the log file and the date timestamp of the last row. If you don't have time columns to find, then that just wouldn't be there. Reopen files on startup. If you if you close gamut down and then reopen it, the tabs that you had open will be reopened for you. File monitoring or tail is a very common feature uh, that people are looking for. You can see there's also an icon here in the toolbar for it. Right now it's disabled. If you're not familiar with tail, what it basically says is to keep looking for changes to the file that you're, you have open and to continuously load them when you're uh, working with the file. There are times where you might not want this because if you're trying to look at the file at a point in time then you might want to just freeze it the way it is so you may want to turn that off or if you're just working with static files and that's not going to have much value for you. This next uh, option to move to the last line on an update kind of works hand in hand with file monitoring and what it says is if you do get an update then scroll the scroll the log to the bottom so you can see the newest entries. Always on top is a pretty common feature with a lot of applications that just keeps this program, Gamut Log Viewer, forefront on top of any other applications that you might be uh, working with. The default date and timestamp has to do with the defaults that we use when setting up a configuration. Again, I have another video on setting up configurations. So if you're working with um, separator configurations, this comes into play. Now this biggest section here is maybe the most useful and what it does is it says these are all the types of filters or severities that I might get in my application and these names are standard names for some of the standing logging frameworks. So fatals, errors, warnings, info, debug, trace, and what I provided is the ability for you to def define your own. So if your logging framework doesn't use fatal, or maybe it does, but it has a second type of fatal, fatal, if you hit F2 here, you can get into edit mode. You say fatal, or maybe you call it super fatal, and you can change you can either change what I have or just define your own and when you define them here and you turn them on you'll see that this red circle now showed up here in the toolbar and it allows you to filter on super fatal I'm gonna cover filtering in a separate video so we'll we'll stay a little bit away from filtering um, in this video but f as far as the purpose of these columns it's in order to set up these different these different uh, severity levels that you see here in your log file. Highlights are a very useful feature that a lot of people are looking for and what you can do here is you can just say that whenever you see the string info I want the line to be blue and whenever I see the word debug I want the line to be green and if I hit OK here you'll see that this log file behind me has changed colors and the lines that contain that text have those new colors. If I, I can bring that highlights window up from the toolbar here and I can also clear all my highlights right from here as well. Another way to enable those highlights, uh, let's say your this column here, the thread name, is particularly important to you and you want to see whenever, you know, make those a different color. So if I say right click on that column and say highlight column now any any row that has the word log file is going to be colored in this case yellow which if you bring up the highlights is just the first entry uh, available if you didn't want it to be yellow you can just delete that and put that here on on green and there you go anything that is log files now green so that's how you can use highlights. Let's move to the next one. Uh, log configuration is a topic covered by itself. That's how you define these different columns and you should definitely check out that video if you haven't done so already. Find 
is pretty straightforward. If you're looking for some text, you can just say whatever it is you're looking for, log file dot ctor find next. I did not find it. I can search up and I'm not finding it. I must have it spelled wrong. There's two periods in it. So if I put period, period, find next there. I found it. I can search down, find the next one. If I close this, this is modal window. I can leave it up and move around a modeless window. I can also just use F3, which will do the next search. In F3, you can see it's right here defined right in the menu. And search is also available right from the toolbar. So if you wanted to bring it up, you can click there as well. Selection, what that does is if you scrolled out, your selected row was down below, but you scrolled up here, you can say View, Selection, and it'll bring that last selected line into view. Kind of a neat feature. And Refresh, what that does is if you're not using Tail, and you know that your file has changed, or you're not sure if your file has changed, and you want to get any new updates, you hit Refresh, and that'll bring in the latest, the latest uh, information. And I should have mentioned that the highlights are a professional version only feature. Charting is also a professional version feature, and what that does is it shows you the a chart representation of the severity column. So this is showing me that I have how many traces and how many errors, and you can quickly see what kind of uh, events have been happening in your system. And I'm going to cover charting as a whole separate video, but uh, for this video just know that you can enable and disable that charting, you can turn that off or bring it back on assuming you have the professional version and you can see a graphical view uh, based on different timelines and uh, different chart types as well so you can see a bar chart or a column chart so I'm going to cover that in greater detail in a separate video but that's also a very useful feature so that's going to be it for this video I'll be covering other vid uh, videos we'll be covering features like filtering and bookmarks separately and configuration. So thank you for joining me. Again, this is Steve Obi from Gamut Software. Please check us out on the web at www.gamutsoftware.com and you can download our free version of Gamut Log Viewer or preferably you'll upgrade to the professional version and get some of these really good features that are only available there. Thank you again and have a good day.